Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got live cards everywhere right now in this game. The Black Friday Thunderstruck cards. We've got Road to the Knockouts with games today for Champions League. And of course, we've got the FC Pro live cards, which we now know a couple of which are going to be upgraded here very soon. Maybe as soon as today. We're going to talk about that in today's video because there's a lot of question marks around when they're going to upgrade and how EA is going to upgrade these cards. And also, the UCL Hero Packs dropped yesterday as expected. But what wasn't expected was, first of all, EA to drop them ahead of time. And second, there's actually more UCL Heroes than we thought. And not all of them have been packed in these pre-order packs. We're going to talk about that and the market. Lightning rounds are slowing down. Supply is slowing down. Does that mean prices can continue to rise in some of the areas that we've invested, specifically these Thunderstruck cards? All that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go off by starting with the new SBCs that were dropped yesterday on this game. We had a little showdown action for a big game that is coming up in the Saudi League, Al Hilal and Al Nasser. Of course, Malcolm between these two showdown players is probably the most hyped with his links, links to Neymar, links to Koulibaly. Not that Al Nasser isn't hyped, but also I believe Al Hilal have a really good chance of winning this game. A Brazilian mid with four star skills, four star weak foot, left footed on the right side with the finesse shot play style, incisive pass, and some pretty good ball control dribbling play styles as well. They're not that expensive. That's the best part about this. I feel like EA has actually done a pretty good job of showdown SBCs this year being somewhat affordable for the players that you're getting. 66,000 coins for Malcolm, 61k for Otavio. It's an SBC that if you're interested in it, if it fits your team, it's good to do. Maybe for the rest of us though, if it doesn't fit your team, it's just kind of more of a fun one, right? But we love showdowns. We like to get involved. And it's just another type of live cards on this game. There's so many live cards this game right now. It's crazy. But once again, this game is on Friday. So make sure you get the SBC done in due time if you're looking forward to that. Now, the other SBC yesterday that probably made the most wave on the market, and at least in terms of hype, was the year in review player pick. And guys, we've had year in review player picks now for the past couple of years. If you've never encountered these SBCs, they are fun. And that is strictly what they are. There's a lot of fun SBCs that are out right now. And this is a fun SBC that I would stay away from because instead of looking for cards, yes, that have been released in previous promos that were in packs, you're looking at cards via SBCs and objectives. And we all know that the quality of cards in SBCs and objectives is usually behind what is in packs. That should be enough explanation for me to tell you that this player pick and this SBC is one that you probably want to skip. Now, if you did it, don't feel too bad about doing it. It's cheap, right? It's really requiring an 87 rated card and then an 84 squad but it's just when you look at the player pool of who you could get from this yes you could get player of the month son which is sick i don't know how rafael leal's card is valued at 690,000 coins because that sbc was overpriced to begin with rodrigo alvarez odegaard you know there are some nice players in here but look how fast this list drops off and how many of these cards are like super crazy meta that you would want to be chasing from an sbc like this I would so much rather save a little bit of fodder and do an 87 plus mixed campaign upgrade or even a base hero player pick I would want to do instead of this year in your view player pick, but it is cheap and it is fun. I just think guys that when they drop these SBCs throughout the year, we'll try them occasionally, but these SBCs are always cheap and the pack weight on them is always bad. I mean, there's people that were packing um, foundations cards that are still available to claim via objectives, I'm pretty sure. Like there was uh, people packing MLS Jordan Morris and he is still in here that you could get Jordan Morris. Yeah, he's right here. 85 rated card from playing games. Like that's kind of crazy that those players are available in that player pick SBC and very common. But, um, you know, that's what you're paying for with that SBC. So that was kind of the SBC content that we had yesterday, the showdown. We also had an icon SBC for John Barnes, which I think was very interesting, but it was a cheap icon SBC at least. So that's nice. If that card interests you, it was 180K, which is very cheap compared to some of the other ones we've had. We also had a Black Friday Challenge 4. And in objectives, um, I believe there was one thing in objectives. The, the Easter egg was already there. Actually, the biggest thing with objectives yesterday was that people were having issues watching the Twitch stream and watching the stream 
and getting their packs. I need to go score three finesse goals with Uruguayans, by the way. If you didn't notice it in yesterday's YouTube comments, people knew this already. They announced it on the stream yesterday. You have to score three finesse goals with the mystery nation that is Uruguay. So go get yourself a Darwin Nunez, hit three finesse goals, and you get yourself a coin boost in an 82 times two. It is worth the time. But a lot of people were having issues getting the uh, the XP granted, and there was a bunch of issues with the stream yesterday. So I don't know what EA is going to do about that. I don't think mine completely worked. It kind of partially did. I'm not entirely sure. But that was kind of the content yesterday. We also had a new evolution. But I feel like this Evo is not getting talked about a lot. It is free, which is nice. It is the Marauder center back evolution. And Inigo Martinez is probably one of the best players that you can get out of this. It is a big time pace boost. Plus eight pace. Pretty sizable, you know, passing, dribbling, defensive, and a physical boost as well. The thing that I find the most interesting about this is it's a center back evolution, yet they're giving you play styles that really aren't suited for center backs. You get the first touch play style, which isn't bad, right? It could be helpful. And then technical dribbler play style. When am I going to be R1 dribbling with my center back Inigo Martinez or whoever you put in this Evo during a game? I just don't think there's a very high likelihood of that happening for me, which is why I think this evolution is decent. Everybody likes when you can make a slow center back pacier, which, right, 45% upvote. It's not a bad Evo. I just think that it could have been a little bit better. There are some nice cards in here, right? Diego Carlos. A lot of people looking at Ben White. His card looks pretty good through this. Again, though, guys, this is this would be one that I would maybe say, maybe wait, like maybe wait and save this evolution for a little bit later down the line. If there's another one that drops in the next 20 days that you could double up with a silver player. I think I'm finding more fun with evolutions right now, kind of like I'm finishing off the Alessandrini, who have only got a couple more days to complete. But I'm I'm having more fun with evos like this, where I can take a card that was a silver and do it through multiple evos and spend a little bit less time trying to think about four or five different cards at one time through evos and just kind of do it all at once that's personally speaking but if you really like the evo grind that is another one that was dropped yesterday and i'm sure it is fun right the evo grind is fun I'm not going to disagree with that but that was another evo yesterday that just kind of was like hmm, okay not bad um now let's talk about what ea tweeted yesterday in terms of the content for this week they're still doing the monday tweets and all that stuff they tweeted out yesterday icon spc which we got evolutions which we got Thunderstruck SBCs. We're still looking forward to two of those. And we had this, uh, the Saudi League showdown. So I think the set piece moments refresh and then maybe another upgrade SBC or two uh, would be coming out through the rest of this week. But like we said in yesterday's video, it really feels like the content for this whole week is already here. It's just SBCs that refresh that we can keep doing, like the 87 plus mix campaign refreshing today. Um, you've got the 83 times 10 refreshing every single day. The 85 double is going to be going away today. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, after today, the 85 double, I think the 84 double, and maybe even the 85 plus player pick all go away. Yeah, which that's a little bit disappointing because those are some pretty solid SBCs. Uh, but the 8310 at least comes back for a couple more days. Thank goodness, because that is like the best SBC right now. Also, I'm going to give a quick shout out. If you have not noticed, if you're doing any sort of upgrade pack other than the 78 plus player pick, I think you're doing it wrong. Now, I'm going to do one right now, and it's probably going to be terrible. But uh, these have been fire. And it's only because you have to put a couple of players in that I think it's so fire. But you're also getting pretty consistently 83s, 84s, getting a decent amount of walkouts as well. Did I just press the help button to submit this SBC? I definitely have completed the requirements. Thank you, EA Sports. Like, watch, I'm going to get an 82 or an 81 here. But a 78 plus player pick, you would think that it's all, yeah, look at that, man. A consistently 83s, which turning in five players for is insane. So I would, I would focus on the 78 plus player picks. I was doing 80 doubles before, but those are consistently pretty good to help you get some of those lower rated fodder cards back into your club. Now, speaking of lower rated fodder, let's discuss this a little bit. That's actually the side of the fodder market that is moving the most right now. If you take a look at 83s, 1.8 to 1.9K, these cards have been rising since yesterday at rewards because, again, we had that year interview player pick that's coming out. You put an 87 into an SBC for an 84 rated squad. What do you finish it out with? 82s, 83s, maybe one or two 84s, but it's the low tier that keeps moving. 82s are a thousand coins. 
right? This is the place to be trading with lazy listing. Get on bids for 83s because they're still running store pack lightning rounds. Not as many lightning rounds, but still a lot of store packs. These cards are still getting supplied. Get on bids for those. Maybe be able to pay 1.5K. I know for a fact people are still getting lazy listed sales on 83s at 2.2 to 2.5K. And for 84s, those are up a decent amount as well. Almost 4K a card. Probably going to go higher today because, again, the supply is lessening, but the demand is still there. 85s are approaching 8 k they're slowly rising the rest of photo market is really just chilling right 87 16k 86 or 12 they're going up a little bit too uh but it's really just kind of sitting there and chilling i'm still lazy listing my high rated fodder guys i know it's like they when in the world is this stuff going to go up did ea crack the code and finally figure out a way to not make fodder go up maybe they did but still with so many sbcs out the mbappe other SBCs like Icon SBCs that a lot of people are interested in, like Dog Leash. And with the supply diminishing, I'm still lazy listing my stuff. I got one lazy list yesterday, this sale on Pop at 29K. I'll take it, right? I'll take that. I'm going to continue the lazy list. And uh, also, just it, it helps the Mbappe SBC and other the Dog Leash SBC too maintain a little bit cheaper of price. But those cards are really starting to look like they're not going to rise as much as we thought that they were. And I think that does maybe pertain to overinvestment because a lot of people were invested in it. But if, if it was overinvested and people are starting to sell off on those cards, when people like stop selling off those, when that overinvestment kind of gets all sold and then there's SBC still there, the cards should continue to rise. I don't know, though. I really think it's because of all the crazy packs that EA released during Black Friday. And honestly, it, it seems like, especially for the middle to low tier on fodder, they upped the pack weight so much, too, that you were consistently packing 82s, 83s, 84s, and you had good upgrade packs to keep getting those back through objectives, even. Um, it seems like that maybe is the reason to why fodder didn't go up as much, because we sure had a ton of great SBCs. And uh, yeah, I mean, really, it was the 90s, the 89s, 90s, and 91s for the Mbappe that did the best. But I'm not counting as an L just yet. I'm, I still think there are some prices that could rise. I'm just, uh, it's starting to look like it's not going to be as lucrative as we thought it was going to be. Now, let's get into the big news, right? Let's talk about, firstly, the hero pack that dropped yesterday. We talked about it extensively in yesterday's video. We knew that it was going to be coming. I opened mine yesterday when they dropped. They dropped an hour before content, which was like, what? What did we say? It was going to be like 11 p.m. UK time. So it dropped like six hours earlier from what it was supposed to. I got Kanu, not an insane card by any means. I tried him out in game. Need to try him for a couple more games. Um, but I will say, EA, a lot of people were complaining about these cards that EA didn't upgrade them enough for where the power curve is right now. The playstyle plus being added to each and every one of these UCL hero cards. If you take a look at Footbin, I'm pretty sure it's every single one of them, besides Dudek, actually. Which, by the way, look at the state of this dynamic image on Dudek. That is just absolutely wild. Um, that's just crazy. But I believe just about every single other card in here for the new UCL heroes got a playstyle plus, which is a nice upgrade. I do feel you that some of the cards didn't get as big of upgrades as they should have, but here's one that got a massive upgrade. Wesley Schneider, we talked about him yesterday, plus threes, fours, and fives across the board. They gave him a skill move upgrade, guys. He is four star, five star. They also upgraded Tevez. Uh, if I can find a Tevez card really quick, where is Tevez? I might just have to search it up. I don't even see Tevez on this page unless I'm blind and can't see it. But Tevez has, I believe, a skill move upgrade as well. Tevez has got five-star skills, which is an upgrade over his 88-rated card. So there were some nice card upgrades inside of here. Of course, the dynamic images and the whole like UCL, like Marvel aspect to it is pretty sick as well. Uh, but the packs yesterday were only giving out a certain number of these heroes, right? Melito, Abedi Pele... Those were cards that were not pack even Dudek, those were cards that were not packable via that pack yesterday. There's like four or five of these players in here. Ole is one of them as well. Uh, Rickon is one of them as well. We saw a lot of Julies. We saw a lot of Risa. Uh, Beasley's were packed yesterday. Rosicky, McManaman, those were very popular through these upgrade packs. But if you actually go and take a look in concepts, you will see that some of these other hero cards, if we go and just search by like quality of UCL hero, they're in the concept list here, like a Betty Pele, like what a dynamic image for him, right? But that was not a card that was in any of the pre-order packs yesterday. Same thing with Melito, right? Melito, three-star, four-star, not a boost there. A Betty, four-star, four-star. Um, you know, you look down the list here, there's the Dudek that we saw. So it's like, it's interesting why EA didn't put all of them into the pack if there were going to be more than what they originally told us. So that was a bit of a confusing thing. Uh, by the way, guys, if you did not get your pack, 
it's I think EA gave him all out. There was some rumors that EA messed up and gave a couple extra. Some people got two or three instead of just one because of them dropping in early. But I believe EA paid it out. It seems to be correctly. Again, the time to pre-order the game was the most specific part of this that you had to be have done it by that August 22nd day on or before. So that's the whole UCL uh, hero situation. Again, these cards will not be on the market and in packs to be on the market for another couple of weeks. So watch out for that. Now let's talk about the live cards, right? Another big thing from yesterday, a good way to make coins because there was some crazy, cr crazy price movements and uh, some cards confirmed now for upgrades. We're talking about the UC, not UCL, the FC Pro, we have so many live cards in this game right now, it's almost impossible to keep track. We're talking about the FC Pro live cards, and this is the latest tweet from EA Sports FC Pro, giving a nice overview if you didn't watch any of the games yesterday. This is what happened, right? Yilmaz, Umut, I mean, they played pretty well. Actually, that is not the most up-to-date standings. That is not the final standings. The final standings are... All right, here. Here are the final standings, right? Now we have the now we can see the upgrades for each of these cards. Malin and Ren and Lodi both eclipsed 10 points, right? So it was Umut and it was Yilmaz, these two pros that got 10 points out of their four games yesterday. And that means they qualified for three upgrades. So in theory, Daniel Malin and Ren and Lodi should both get an inform upgrade, an alternate position and playstyle. And another inform upgrade. So a plus two for both of these cards would be in the writing. If EA were going to upgrade those cards in that way. Now, this is where the confusion kind of sets in because there was a post that actually on an EA live stream earlier, I tweeted this a couple of weeks ago. You maybe remember us talking about this on stream. When these cards were first being announced, EA said that the first upgrade was going to happen on November 28th slash 29th. And then the second upgrade and third upgrade were going to happen in December. So it sounded like EA was going to kind of time gate the upgrade so that they couldn't, they wouldn't just upgrade the cards all the way super fast. Even though since this is a kind of like a round robin style tournament with group play, these guys all played four games yesterday. They played every person in their group. So they had the opportunity to get 10 points or more with the number of games that they were playing, right? And they did. I just don't know how EA is going to upgrade these cards, but it sounds like number one, we're going to be getting upgrades potentially today, right? They listed November 28th, 29th, which makes me think that it might be kind of a later in the day upgrade today on the 28th. If it's going to say 28th slash 29th, where it'll be the 29th in some areas of the world and the 28th in other areas, I don't exactly know. But the question is, will EA do all of this at the same time or will they wait another week for the next set of games and for also just... You know, it seems like an EA thing to do to time gate the upgrades so that you can't get them all at once so that Daniel Malin wouldn't right now in this game go from an 85 rated card to an 87 with an alternate position and new playstyles, right? That's where I'm thinking that EA might do that. But we honestly have no idea, guys. So we're kind of just keeping an eye on the cards in the market. We don't have any official confirmation on the live stream. The announcers and, and people were saying that it was going to be the plus two upgrades. They made it sound like it was going to happen. But again, the graphics that EA posted on their own stream a couple of weeks ago make it seem like these might be time gated. So that's the biggest question right now. Now, of course, with these upgrades happening, right? What other upgrades do we have? We've got Colum Y going up one inform upgrade because his pro got one win three points and Mane's pro got two wins six points or at least above six points so one inform upgrade and an alternate position plus play style is what he is due and with those wins there were some massive price increases of course Daniel Malin was a card that we talked about weeks ago to invest in we, we had bought Daniel Malin's at his absolute lowest 16,000 coins I was able to sell all of mine yesterday look at this rise from 22k all the way to about 30 I think 32,000 coins was his peak selling price he went back down to about 24 right now it's about 27,000 coins as people expect a big upgrade if you have one or two of those i think it's okay to keep holding he's still alive he, his pro is in a great position to get further upgrades and when if this card gets a plus two and a new position plus a play style it's going to be a pretty cracked looking card on a low budget uh, he needs a scoring play style for sure i hope they give him like either finesse shot or I don't know, maybe power shot or something would be super nice. Imagine him getting finesse shot. That'd be crazy. And maybe they give him like alternate position, like left wing or something. That would just increase the opportunity for squad building. So 
this is a card that a lot of people are hyped about right now because of the potential upgrade. Other cards like Colo Mane and Mane was probably the craziest one. Mane's Pro went off yesterday. And since this is such a rare card, people didn't really expect it to go up as much as it did. His card actually went. You guys, maybe remember, I talked about buying an, a Mane card for 458k, like right around here. I sold Mane after the first game because his pro won the game, and I was like, okay, Mane's going up in price. I sold him for 540k. Mane actually went all the way up to 1 million coins, and he was selling there, not for very long. He got undercut like crazy after that, but he was 1 million coins, um, which is way, way, way overpriced. But it's just crazy how some of these cards have massive fluctuations. Now, he came back down to 460, and now he's back up to 530. But Mane is due an upgrade, and um, so is Ren and Lodi. The SBC, he's due three different upgrades. So again, that's the biggest question. Is EA going to upgrade these cards, number one, today? And how many upgrades are they going to do at uh, one time? Now, I will say, with all the hype and people seeing cards like Mane going from 500k to like you know a million coins it got people in the mode and in the mood to invest and some of the other live cards that didn't have games like karamo is a very very popular investor right now for good reason right he's a cracked looking card one of the most popular cards guys a good pro linked to his item as well he's 59,000 coins if you take a look at his price on the market yesterday i think people were kind of like emotionally investing in these cards because they were like okay the other cards are going crazy. I want to get involved in these before they go even higher. So he went all the way to 58,000 coins during the heat of all these madness with the FC Pro Live cards. But guys, there are not any more games until next Monday. It's basically every Monday for the next, what is it, like month or month and a half, apart from kind of around the Christmas holiday time and New Year's. Every single Monday, we're going to have a new group of playing. So group A played yesterday it's going to be group b that will play this next monday and we'll probably be looking at investing in some of the group b cards uh yes they could go up between now and then but i'm probably going to hold off to wait to invest in some of those group b cards until a little bit later in this week just to see where the market's at how things shake up and even how the cards from group a with their upgrades react because if they only do time gate it and give one upgrade for this first time around that would be a little bit less hype i think for me for the cards that are getting upgrades to come so definitely watch out for that but other people have started investing in those and uh, their prices could continue to go up because they are live cards and a lot of them are pretty cheap and affordable and pretty good cards at those prices that they are. So watch out for next Monday with more cards coming in there. Now, let's talk about the market. We already mentioned a little bit too that the market and the supply seems to be slowing down. As I go into the store right now, there are no lightning round packs. There's not even a section on the side for the uh, limited time or whatever they call them. Uh, packs here in the store yes there are still promo packs and a lot of them and a lot of them are refreshing still and probably going to come back today like they keep the 450 the 500k pack is going to go away today but it's probably going to come back they keep refreshing the 10 and the 30 coin pack which i just opened a little bit ago but it seems like the supply is finally starting to slow down guys which is great for a lot of us that are looking at investing in maybe some of these thunderstruck cards as i take a look at some of the prices over here on footbin it just seems to be pretty stagnant, right? We thought Gabriel Jesus, we thought Emre Chan were going to have some rises yesterday, and they did. They had, a, they had a little bit, but it wasn't the kind of rise that we thought it was going to be, right? Gabriel Jesus was like 160. He went back up to 180, then went all the way back down to 160 again. So 170 to 180, down to 160, and now he's kind of back up to 170. Like, are we going to start to see these cards slowly rise through the week now? Or are we going to just be at the mercy of EA running lightning rounds and then maybe putting something in the store? Like, guys, these cards are in packs until Friday, so I don't think we're completely done with lightning rounds. I just think they're going to slow down and there will be less of them. So that's what I'll, I feel like we're at the mercy of EA right now. It's going to be, well, does EA release lightning rounds on a Wednesday with the brand new team of the week coming out? Because sometimes they do that. Or, or are they not? Are they going to just keep it with the regular store packs that we have and we're going to continue to see the supply be less and less and less? And it'll slowly like rise into the week. Like that's the biggest question at the moment with a lot of these cards. But I still believe in a lot of these cards too, because we shouldn't be more than a couple days away from these cards also getting upgraded. There's so many cards with live upgrading aspects to them right now. It's almost like incredibly difficult to keep track of. But these cards are hype, man. People want to use them, people want to try them, put them in the teams. 
So that's why I'm interested in these Thunderstrucks. I'm still invested in a couple of Emre Chans, especially the cards that are rare. Like the Jill Gomez is one that a lot of people want to invest in. Um, you know, I think about, you know, Quadrado is one that a lot of people have been looking at. Jolinton. Klosterman, by the way, if you haven't seen, Klosterman's minimum price got updated. Uh, he was 14,000 coins and he was not selling. His price got updated and he went all the way down to, I think, like 13K. If you can pick up a Klosterman for 13K, especially with a chemistry style, especially like 12K. I love 12K. 12K on bid is like literally zero risk. Um, especially if you can get him with like an anchor or a shadow or something like that. I just feel like this is going to be a card that can rise up four to five thousand coins, you know, over the next couple of weeks. Not that Leipzig are an insane club, but they've got a pretty easy next game in the Bundesliga against Heidenheim. So potential for a win, potential for an upgrade. And that's just, that's just a card that I think at 12,000 coins is a stupid cheap Bundesliga center back for the stats that you get and also being German. So that's a card that I like now that I got a price range update, but kind of like an inform investment, right? Buy one, stock it on your transfer list. It's bound to go up a couple thousand coins over time. And that can be a huge profit investment there, but it should be something that makes you a few coins. Now, also today, adding another set of live cards to the list. Guys, we got Champions League today, which means... We've got Road to the Knockout cards that could potentially get any upgrades as well. We talked about this in the videos over the weekend. These were some of my favorite cards to invest in. And some of them are kind of like Lewandowski right now being 515,000 coins is a card that I'm actually interested in because today they play Porto in the Champions League. And if Barca are able to win this game, uh, they will be on 12 points. Porto will be on nine. And that would technically, I believe, lock them in to the next round of play because if unless Shakhtar win then Shakhtar would be on nine points and that'd be a little bit interesting based off a of goal difference so maybe for Barca it's not the best example but you think about some other teams today that are playing for upgrades Atletico Madrid um if they win today again there's their group is a little bit close as well but you're just moving towards that next upgrade and of course with wins there comes hype and that means player prices rise because the upgrades get closer um, so like this Lewandowski, if I can get him for less than 510k, I'm going to go for it because he goes between like 510 and 540 every day in this game anyway. So I'm keeping an eye on a card like that. And then watch the cards that are playing games on, uh, on Wednesday, right? You've got Arsenal very close to an upgrade. Um, another upgrade. Bruno Fernandez has not got any upgrades yet. Again, we talked about him yesterday. He's probably one of the most popular cards people are investing in right now. If you see 120k for this, I think it's a great price. Um, yes, he was 115 over the weekend. Yes, he was in packs, but I still think there's potential for him to rise there. Um, just because he hasn't got any upgrades yet. And he could oh, he could go from a 90 to a 92 really quick um, if the upgrades kick in and if United do win this week and all things go well in their group so watch out for those live cards because we have more rttk we have more um champions league action today watch the ones that are out of packs as well those are the ones like Lewandowski that have a higher price but they seem to have pretty good movements because they're still live and of course if you, there's a card that's already got two upgrades like holland you probably don't want to mess with a card like that because there's no more upgrade potential there no more reason for it to rise now other sbcs and content that we're still expecting this week we've mentioned it before but kang and lee and also kuti romero we have two thunderstruck sbcs that are left and i guess technically according to the ea tweet that was dropped yesterday that's kind of all the content that we have left to expect for this week so again guys it's going to be a constant grind on the menus this week to get the upgrade packs to try to pack something sick from the current promo teams and the re-releases of cards that are out right now because all these cards go out of packs on friday i believe um and and yeah that's that's the content this week honestly get the objectives gun get the gameplay done yeah three days 13 hours i believe for all the cards that are in packs besides the team of the week which is going to refresh on wednesdays always so i'm not expecting too crazy much in terms of content besides the refreshes for the rest of the week i would say guys as well just keep relisting your fodder still that's where everybody's buying cards right now the lower tier you saw the prices move yesterday it's not it's grindy but it is a really good place to trade also informs informs last night were an insane buy i'm wishing that i would have gone 400k in instead of 200k in on anthony robinson alaba and, and luis diaz um instead of just buying a few kind of wish i would have went all in those cards went from 32k to 39 for the 86 rated informs i believe all informs went from 30k last night we looked at them on the video they were 30k uh and they went all the way up to about 37 i think right now informs are about 33k or 34k so 
you know, the informed demand is probably going to slowly trickle off as we head towards the end of this week and a lot of the SBCs expire. So this is probably towards the end of the informed investment and super inflated prices part of this game. The higher rated ones could stay higher longer because of Mbappe, but just be careful with those. But those are also really good cards to trade with and to flip in. But just continue to lazy list that fodder, guys. And also, since there are a lot of coins on the market after Black Friday, Get on the bids, get on the fluctuation trades for icons, for heroes, for cards like this Anfu Fati, who right now is like close to 300k on bid, but he goes to like 350 multiple times per day. Watch the fluctuations because it is a pretty healthy market to trade in and out of right now. Last thing we're going to cover in this video, promo leaked, card design leaked for the radioactive promo that is coming next. This might be one of the worst card designs I've ever seen. I, I don't know, like that is just different and i don't like it but that is the next official car design but that's an official car design tweeted out by multiple people maybe that's a promo coming this friday we'll have to see it has a shapeshifter type of vibe radioactive just seems like somebody like morphing into a position that they don't normally play or something i don't know i'm making stuff up just going off the top of the dome of what i think but that is a crazy car design and the messy is a prediction i mean the stats it's it's more for the car design right radioactive is the next promo of this game. So that's the news. Everything going on right now. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.